Welcome to Survival Theory. I'm going on a camping trip. It doesn't look like it. You know, where's my backpack? Where's my shelter? Where is everything? Well, it's all in my pockets. I've got everything I need. I got my five C's covered. Let's talk about it. So I've got my hiking stick. I've got my knife, uh, ferro rod, all that kind of fire starting material in there. I've got a pocket here with some freeze dried food. I've got my canteen that's got a survival kit, a way to cook, a way to hold water, a way to purify water. I've got extra water here. It's hot, need a lot of water. Um, so I've got everything covered. What about shelter? Right here in this pocket, it looks kind of bulky, but it actually weighs nothing. This is the friendly mosquito, mosquito net, and it's got the mosquito net plus uh, some string and even a head net, head mosquito net. So I've got everything I need to set this up right here. And here's the star of the show. Here's my tarp or my ground cloth, whatever I need it for. If it's raining, it's gonna be a tarp. If I need some shade, it's gonna be a tarp. If I wanna lay on the ground, it's gonna be a ground mat. One wind. It's called the Ultralight Seal Nylon Shelter Footprint Ground Mat. And this one is the large size. It's actually intended to be a mat, a floor mat, a footprint, so to speak, for your tent. Put it under your tent to help protect your tent, keep the moisture from um, collecting on the underside of your tent. Set it up on the beach, you know, lay on it, whatever. But for me, it's an awesome tarp. So this ultralight seal nylon shelter footprint ground mat large only weighs 0.6 pounds just over a half pound and 270 grams. So let's open up the bag and take a look at it. Now there's string on here because obviously I've set it up before and I often leave the strings on my tarp so that I don't have to put up new tie outs or anything, they're just ready to go. You can see my modification already. I camo painted it. You can see how lightweight it is. You can kind of see me through it. Throw it over. So I set it up like any other tarp. It has 10 tie outs. One, two, three. So that's six on each end, plus one, two in the middle, one, two in the middle, 10 tie outs. That's pretty awesome. It's obviously more than a ground cloth. And this is the large size. It's eight foot two by four foot seven. Plenty big enough for a shelter. And depending how you set it up, you could actually fit two people under there. That's eight foot two by four foot seven. So check out this feature. In each corner, it has these pockets. Now, if this were reversed and down low to the ground, I could use these pockets to weigh each corner down by putting rocks in there or sand. If you're at the beach, whatever. That way you may not have to use stakes if you're using this just as a ground cloth, something like that. But when it's like this as a tarp, I flip it over because I don't want these to collect rain and get weighted down. But it makes a little pocket there where I can put something. So this is ripstop nylon. It's waterproof. It's small. It's very, very lightweight. You can throw it in your pocket. I'm thinking stealth camping and bug out bag. So I just set this up as a stealth shelter. There it is right there. Because my camo doesn't match this environment perfectly right now, I had to throw some stuff on it. You 
can see the low profile. Easy to camo. Easy to carry. And because it's so hot right now, I would just give an example of raising an edge. So that you've got some room to let a little air in and out. In the winter time, you can tuck that down and get all cozy in there. Now, because it's four foot seven, there's plenty of width uh, to make a shelter for at least one person, depending on how you arrange it. And because it's over eight feet long, there's enough room for you to sleep, as well as put your gear on another end. So let me go over a few more stats here. This is 1.1 ounce 20D ripstop nylon, but the face side has a silicone coating. I think that's actually this side. I'm not sure. Uh, the back side has PU 3000 millimeter uh, or 4000 millimeter. I'm not sure which one. So that's an excellent rating, excellent rating for waterproofness. 10 tie outs is 0.6 pounds or 270 grams, very lightweight. Has 10 webbing loops, has these pockets in each corner to either weigh it down, collect rainwater, I don't know, stick your watch in there, whatever you want to do. You can find it at onewinoutdoors.com or you can click the link in my description, which will take you to my website, which has Amazon links to all kinds of gear, including this one. You'll find it in a shelter. And this is the large one. It's eight foot two by four foot seven, or 2.5 meters by 1.4 meters. Now, how much does this cost? It's $22.90 right now at onewindoutdoors.com. I think it's about the same on Amazon. But let me tell you something. I don't think this is as tough as say my Chill Gorilla or some of my other more expensive tarps. Now those are anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks each. So for 23 bucks, this is a very good deal. Um, it is a, a ground cloth um, floor for your tent. So you can put it down on sand, dirt, stuff like that. But I'm not going to throw this down on the ground out in the woods with sticks everywhere. You know, I would clear the ground. Um, and I'll do that with all my gear. I want to preserve my gear and make it last as long as possible but it's pretty tough I've been dragging it around the woods literally dragging it and uh, don't see any holes I know it's waterproof so thumbs up on this one wind outdoors Now all these tie outs allow you to hang camo. So it's very small and lightweight. Um, as far as folding it up, I don't do quite the same as I do my other tarps because this is very small and it's slippery. But I still try to fold it up kind of right. Now fold it up like a bed sheet or something. It's very slippery so it's hard to fold up really good. But I just get it pretty compact. See it's trying to slip out. Boy this thing is slippery. Yeah just jam it in there. Get all the air out. There we go. So check out the One Win products, um, especially this Sil Nylon ground sheet tent floor slash tarp. My main use for it is a tarp. So if you can afford that 23 bucks, I would definitely get it. I think it's a good investment. Thanks for watching Survival Theory. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.
choose from over 112 configurations. Ultralight Seal Nylon Shelter Footprint Ground Mat. Large. Get it or die.